Hello, everyone. Um, mathematicians are logical and precise. A guy is complaining to his mathematician friend, I have a problem. I have dip difficulty waking up in the morning. Logically, counting sheep backwards should help. <laughs> D did I mention that mathematicians are very precise? Once my professor told me, assume for the sake of clarity that this yellow cube is a blue sphere. <laughs> I have a lot of mathematicians' friends. Many of them are introverted, and they told me that this, the next is their favorite joke. What is the difference between an extroverted and an introverted mathematician? An introverted mathematician will look at his own shoes when he talks to you. <laughs> an extroverted one will look at your shoes. <laughs> I was around mathematicians all my life. I, when I was very young, I married a mathematician, and then uh, did, I didn't learn on my mistakes. I married a mathematician again and again. <laughs> Honey, we are like two parallel lines. Why do you say that? The intersection of our life path was a mistake. <laughs> So I have a website, uh, I co I've been collecting jokes for many years, currently I have more than 400 jokes. So it, this is a famous joke. A topologist is someone who doesn't know the difference between a coffee cup and a donut. As I said, I collect them, I usually do not invent, but with some exceptions. This is my joke. A topologist walks into a cafe. Can I have a donut of coffee, please? <laughs> I was telling these jokes to my children, and when I was growing up, they knew this, the famous excuse for them not doing their homework was my dog ate my homework. So my kids decided to elaborate. My biology homework at my math homework. <laughs> this was my son. I did part of the whole work, the part I have left to do. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> so this is about physics homework. I tried to build a black hole in my bedroom when my homework suddenly disappeared. <laughs> and another one. My mother redefined my do the homework method with the do the dishes, dishes method. <laughs> Well, this son became a programmer, and some of you know him. So I, uh, I have a group of students I teach. Uh, I have several programs at MIT. One of them, I'm working with middle school students, and we do research in mathematics, and they have homework. And in every homework, uh, I include a joke. So this is in my homework on prime numbers. Two is the oldest prime. <laughs> Fibonacci numbers, Fibonacci salad. For today's salad mix, yesterday's leftover salad was that the day before. <laughs> Without geometry, life would be pointless. <laughs> algebra. Why was algebra so easy for the Romans? X was always 10. <laughs> Topology. Why did the chicken cross the Möbius strip? <laughs> to get to the other... Mm, uh, <laughs> number theory. Do you know what's odd? Every other number. <laughs> so um, I give homework to my students, and once I decided to, in, to include the homework, I request to make a joke. So that's one of my students wrote back. Everyone envies the circle. It's well-rounded and highly educated. After all, it has 360 degrees. <laughs> so this was when I was teaching them sorting algorithms. So another student invented a joke corresponding to our topic. Which sorting algorithm, algorithms is the most relaxing? The bubble bath sort. 
So um, I have this website, I had it for many years, so people send me their jokes, and one most prolific uh, submitter is a daughter of my friend, was teacher. What are whole numbers? She, like zero, six, eight, and nine, and what about 10? It's half whole, one doesn't have a whole. <laughs> This is another one by the same person. Teacher, solve the equation, x plus x plus x equal nine. The answer, three, three, and three. <laughs> <laughs> Quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is simple when you have a pair of socks and you put one of them on your left foot, the one one becomes the right sock no matter where it is located in the universe. <laughs> This was submitted to me by my good friend, physics. <laughs> and step by step cross equation. <laughs> so in my collection, I have some physics and some computer science. So looking for energy, multiply time by power. <laughs> Heisenberg. Heisenberg gets pulled over on the highway. Do you know how fast you're going, sir? No, but I know exactly where I am. <laughs> so one more, one computer science joke. Humanity invented the decimal system because people have 10 fingers. And then invented 32-bit computers because people have 32. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>